Welcome back, East Texas. Well, if you thought all the delicious food was behind us because of the Super Bowl, <laughs> then you're wrong. Claude Ann from AM AgriLife is here with a special treat. What you got cooking up for exactly. us today? Exactly. Well, Cynthia, today I've got a very simple beef pasta dinner. So I, I want the parents to understand that you can get a good dinner without opening up a box, that this is a fast homemade. I went to uh, Walmart and got the ingredients this morning, so I paid. Ten, twelve dollars for it, and Perfect. the best thing about this is, is you get it whenever I leave here. I'm leaving it with you. Okay? Oh. So this is your lunch today. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously it serves plenty of people. So ten yes, bucks goes a long way. Exactly, with it. it does. And and what I did was I used um, extremely lean beef. Uh, because I knew that you wanted uh, lean beef. Um, so I think that it's, if you're thinking about your calories and your fat, of course it's always best to go with the extra lean. And I chose beef with this ingredient, but you can always choose turkey if you want to use turkey with this recipe as well. I think substitutions are one of the, the easiest creative ways to make a meal a lot more nutritious than what it originally planned to be. And what are kind of the dangers with the less lean meats? Well, the dangers with the less lean meat, you've got more fat. So with this one, I didn't even have to drain it because it had virtually right. no fat in it whatsoever. And you know, whenever you're thinking about the foods, and I'll, I'll take the lid off of it because I see how pretty it is on camera. <laughs> whenever you um, use more fat in your in your proteins, of course, then your body's going to take in more fat, mm -hmm. and then that's more fat that you have to worry about running off, going to the gym, or whatever. And so I think the extra lean protein is the best source. Period. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then what, what yeah. else do you go so into it? I tell you what, when I, what I first did was um, I took my extra lean beef and I saw um, I, I browned it real good uh, because you want to make sure that it's, there's no pink in it whatsoever. And if you use the full fat, just make sure you drain all the fat off of it. I hear a lot of people ask me all the time, well, after, if I use the 80-20 the split beef, can I wash my beef after I get through cooking it and get some more of the fat out? And the answer is no. Don't wash your meat. I would not wash this. People ask me about washing chicken, chicken as well. Mm -hmm. And I always say don't wash the chicken just because you've got more of a chance of splattering salmonella on your sink That's good than point. anything else. So no, I, I don't wash my meat. That's just not a practice I have. So anyway, so I used extra lean beef. And again, I had virtually no fat in it whatsoever. And then I sauteed in some spinach. Okay. Do you see the spinach anymore? No. No, exactly. You'd fool the kids. You, you know, fooled me. <laughs> you got it, sister. And you know what I did? I put it in a food processor. Okay. And I pulverized it and I added it to this ingredient. So you've got spinach in here. There you go. And so I think that whenever we're parents and we're trying to figure out ways that we can sneak that food in, my kids at home ask me now, Mom, what'd you put in it? Because I make black bean brownies and just all kinds of fun stuff that you can hide food in and the kids never know it's even there. I've seen that and you see their face when they try yes. it. They have no idea. No <laughs> exactly. idea. Exactly. So I'll never eat it again. <laughs> no. So anyway, so when I brown my meat, I add my spinach to it. And at, at that point, I'm still cooking my penny pasta. Now, I used um, penny pasta for this recipe. If you wanted to add zoodles, instead of the pasta, you can do zoodles. Those that are on a, a plant-based diet, um, substitute out that pasta for a zoodle of sweet potato or zucchini or squash mm -hmm. or whatever. Same concept, same everything. I chose unsalted tomato sauce and unsalted beef broth. To me, whenever you're cooking with this, the beef broth adds a little bit more of a, I don't know, a good flavor to it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and I topped it with mozzarella cheese. Yum. And that's it. So that's it. Down, Pop I mean, it in the oven. And exactly, exactly. Done. And now I used um, regular cheese with this morning. But if you wanted to use lower fat cheese, of course you could do that. Maybe you didn't like mozzarella cheese. Well, you can always substitute that. And you'd be crazy. <laughs> exactly. I know, I know. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot of people that tell me that they omit cheese in their diet. Well, just don't add cheese to it. I'm sure it's tasty either way. I think so. And then this looks delicious. Thank you for bringing yes, it. Yes. For more welcome. information, where can people find that? You can call us at our extension office here in Smith County at 903-590-2980. Um, or look us up on dinner tonight dot, uh, t a m u dot org. I had to think about that. And then <laughs> Smith day. County AgriLife All right. uh, dot org as well. So we've got lots of recipes. Awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by, Claudia. Always a pleasure. You. Always.